Nakasaad sa Section 4 ng Republic Act 11469 o Bayanihan to Heal as One Act na dapat mabigyang kompensasyon na 100,000 pesos ang mga public at private health workers na magkakaroon ng severe COVID-19 infection habang nasa trabaho at 1 million pesos naman para sa mga nasawi dahil sa COVID-19 simula February 1, 2020. Ngunit nadismaya ang ilang senador matapos malamang hindi pa nabibigyan ng ayuda ang mga pamilya ng mga health worker na nasawi at ang mga kritikal dahil sa COVID-19. Ayon kay Senator Sunny Angara, hindi umano nagawa ng Department of Health ang implementing rules and regulations o IRR nito kaya walang nabigyan ng naturang benepisyo. Pero giit na mga senador, hindi dapat maging excuse ang kawalan ng IRR upang hindi ito maisagawa. It's really criminal this neglect to pass this uh... And to delay these types of benefits, these people are, we keep praising them as our heroes, but yet it's just mere lip service if we don't uh, give them anything material. You don't need implementing rules and regulations here. The, the law is very clear. Why should we distinguish? They have already died. A little investigation will tell us that you can pay them because they died because they were at the front line. That's a no-brainer, Your Honor. This is unacceptable and unforgivable. They have already died. They have already suffered. Their families have and we continue to allow them to suffer more because of this failure and this inaction on the part of the Department of Health. Ayon kay Senate President Vicente Soto III, nagpadala na siya ng sulat sa DOH upang pagpaliwanagin ang ahensya. It's definitely unacceptable. The answer is unacceptable. They have to do it. They have to do it today. Wala pang opisyal na tugon dito ang DOH. Ayon kay Senator Richard Gordon, 32 health workers na ang nasawi sa bansa dahil sa COVID-19, habang dalawa naman ang severely ill o malala ang kondisyon. Inaasahan naman ng Malacanang na magbibigay si Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte ng ultimatum sa mga kinauukulang ahensya ng pamahalaan kaugnay ng mga benepisyong dapat ipagkaloob sa mga public at private health worker. Horlin Delgado, UNTV News and Rescue. Diyos ang aming sandigan, serbisyo publiko ang aming pinahahalagahan.